the booth this year was redesigned by Maith based on their designs for Frankfurt, Valencia and Casa de Cor before that so we could reuse the modules and uh, not create so much waste. Um, Maybe then built the booth scale 1-1 one, one in the warehouse in Valencia where she was able to test the colors and the feeling. Then she brought in her old team. Vasilis Papas came from Greece and did the booth lighting where he simulated sun coming through the forest leaves. The first thing you see when you walk into the booth is Bodo Spillane's Oscar collection, like hanging over the main work area, the table lights. And then there's just the majestic Volier pendant, which just sort of crowns the whole corner. Next to that, Isidro Ferrer has Birdie. It's the smallest of the life-size collections, but we felt it was so important to have it on show. Woodstraps was a very brilliant concept of taking a whole bunch of strips of wood veneer, strapping them together, put a capsule of light in its center. The outer layers were then drawn together towards one another and they would create this bow shape. You know, it's, it's quite amazing how long we've known Ray, I mean, since 1997. And he's, you know, come in with two great collections, the cactus and the tiny. Some new ideas there with the porcelain base as well. Lovely, and the little handle on the tiny. Candela then just, you know, blows your mind when you walk into that section. And there's these individual creations that she's made, these unique hand-signed numbered wall sconces and ceiling lamps. Um, just, just, you know, so fresh and alive. We were able to finally exhibit Maisa's glass collection, complete Eris, Dune, Estella, and the new vertical Estellas in all their different configurations, including the long Stella floor lamp. Ramon came back this year with a new addition to his Black Note family, the Black Note chandelier. We saw this exhibition on recycled materials that Lucas Munoz had curated, and he'd made all the lighting out of bricks and rods and drivers and and Murray B was like, we've got to get in touch with this guy. And so we did, and he came up with this collection, ASAP, as simple as possible. Believe me, Ellie is really happy now that she's finally been able to present her collection. Due to pandemic, it's been put off and put off and put off. And this is the first time the OMA has been presented in Milan. There was an excitement in the booth this year, which I hadn't experienced for many, many years, which was really cool. And it, it created a, a wonderful sensation of warmth and coziness, like an oasis in the middle of the fair. After the show, you could head down to Illuminata, which was the exhibition by Bodo Spillane and Francesca Vallini in Brera district. Uh, Bodo had several of our pieces there that he's designed for us on display. It was a lovely place to end the day at the fair. Thank you for watching. Good night. <laughs>